Am I the asshole for asking my best friend to break up with his uneducated, unemployed girlfriend so we can be together? I know the title makes me seem like a jerk, but I couldn't think of another way to summarize it in one go. We'll call him Dean, and we'll call his girlfriend Helen. I'm a university student who interned at a marketing company over the last few summers. Dean was my boss there, and we became really close friends. Our friendship moved outside of work, and I no longer interned there at all. The more we talked, the more I fell for him. He's incredible, hardworking, successful, funny, the whole package. His girlfriend is not, in my opinion. She's actually a loser. She's uneducated and unemployed. Helen dropped out of high school because of family problems. Apparently, her mom has severe anxiety and depression, overdosed multiple times when Helen was a kid, and would have breakdowns and threatened to hurt herself if she was left alone. So, Helen stayed home with her and still does when necessary because her father can't retire. Over the years, Helen has admitted its weight on her own mental health, she sees a psychiatrist and takes medication. She's developed her own irrational anxiety. She's had some jobs over the years, in the hours her dad is home with her mom from work, but she would have screaming and crying panic attacks while on the job. She has them at home sometimes, too, at night. But she can calm herself down okay, apparently. Subsequently, she's never finished school or held down a job. Dean and I have talked about it many times. He insists she's doing her best, that she does all the cooking, cleaning, laundry, yard work, and chores at her home. She gets a very small amount of money from her father for this weekly. She also does video game streaming and makes some money from that. Barely any, I think. They've been together for five years, and he's come to terms with the fact she may never work or get educated. But he doesn't seem to care. He says he will provide financially, and he's okay with her being a stay-at-home mom someday, or even just a stay-at-home wife. I DM'd him, asking him why he's even in love with her, how he fell in love with her, and just why. I don't get it. He can do so much better. He said this, I fell in love with her for many reasons. She's sweet, kind, and cute, and she always sees the best in people, even with everything that she's been through. I think she's funny, beautiful, intelligent and is always trying to do some good. I like that she's random, silly, quirky, and passionate AF. I like how competitive she is, because I'm competitive, too. I like that she's athletic. I like how she cooks things, top of the dome, without the need to Google everything, like me. I love her giggle, and I really love her smile. I like her singing voice and, well, all of her voices. I like her hugs, and I love her kisses. I like it when her fingers are in my hair. I like the things that she draws or makes from hand. I like it when she holds my hand. I like her taste in memes, and I like her taste in music. I like her puns and her sense of humor. I really like her presence, and I like her dance moves and how good she is at everything. I like that she likes to help people. I genuinely like the person that she is. I admire her a lot and will always want her for myself. I told him how I felt about him, how I'm in love with him, and that I wished she wasn't around. He said, well, I'm lucky that she is. I don't know what I'd do without her. I told him he's just comfortable, and he's staying with her, cause it's been a long time. That I've been at a place in my life where I thought I couldn't go on without certain people, but I survived, and he would too. He said this, well, I don't want to. So I'd appreciate you not saying things like, I wish she wasn't in the picture. That's awful. If you cared at all about me, then you'd say that I'm lucky to have her and respect that. You know? So, he adamantly won't leave her. And I don't understand why. With the little money she earns, she saves up to do some very special things for him. She got him a cameo from his favorite actress, took him to see his favorite sports team in the playoffs, and got him a PS4, she's taking him to his favorite band this summer. 
She also does sweet stuff for him, like giving him random cards, drawings, paintings, and crap like that. I think maybe that's the real reason he stays with her, but I could do that stuff for him, too. She's had years to do it. I'm studying hard. I work as a barista to get through school. I love talking to him, and I love spending time with him. He means the world to me. Does anyone have advice on how I can win him over? I just want him for myself, I'm the better choice for him, he just doesn't realize it right now. What can I do here? Top comments. Can't you just be friends with benefits? He doesn't want that. I've asked slash sent nudes. He asked me to stop immediately, or he would cut contact. There's clearly something he sees in her that he doesn't see in you. You can't explain why people like who they like. If he's happy with her and the relationship then that's that. Your attempts to drive them apart with only drive your friend away from you. He hasn't let himself see me in that light, though. If he did, he would see I can offer him all she does, and more. He just thinks he's happy, love is blind, and he has no idea what he's in right now, because he's in so deep. If he could just wake up and realize, we could have a very happy life together in the future. Link him to this Reddit post, and he'll be able to see where you're coming from in a way that's clearer than text messages, which are short and impersonal. He'll see it with super clear eyes, and he'll probably even realize he needs to take the problem person out of his life. Your replies, in particular, will show him everything he hasn't realized. So you agree she's a problem? Thank you. People in this post are judging me so hard and I'm trying to stand by myself because I know what I believe in here is what's right for me and him. I'm giving him some time to cool off, but I, I'll link it to him this weekend. Dean's response. L, you linked me to this post so I could understand you better, and now I do. I love my girlfriend more than life in itself. I have been with her for five years for a reason. Not because of what she can offer me financially but because of who she is as a person. That's what matters to me. I will work three jobs if it means keeping her. For example, she once spent two hours traveling in the rain to bring my sick mom some homemade soup. Money doesn't buy that kind of heart. I never told you that story because you would get emotional and angry with me for even bringing up my girlfriend. I tried to be your friend because you seemed lonely, when we worked together, you said your roommates don't talk to you, and your family is back in your home country. We never had a future together. It's not even a possibility. I will protect that woman at all costs and it really hurts me to see you talking shit about her to strangers on the internet. I hope you'll have the integrity to take this down. Maybe it's best we don't stay friends for now and see where things head. You sent me the link to this thread, and then you immediately blocked me on Instagram? Why? I don't understand what you want from me at this point, but it's no longer worth my energy. LF you're ready to grow up and respect my relationship, give me a call.